What's up everybody, Joe Brown here. This is the Heresy Financial Show. The US Mint just sold more gold than it has in 23 years. An extremely strong first quarter to the year. And by everything that we can tell, it looks like this demand will continue into the future. So in this video, we're gonna talk about that, what that means and what it's doing to the premiums of gold and silver bars and coins and how you can kind of get around those extra premiums, get gold and silver for a little bit cheaper and wait for premiums on the stuff that you actually want to come down. Ready? Let's dive in. And now I'd like to take a quick moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, Vaulted. Vaulted is the secret to secure gold savings. They've developed a technology infrastructure designed to optimize gold investment strategies. They're reshaping the precious metals supply chain, and they've expanded access to allow you access to the world's most trusted universal currency. So what is Vaulted? Well, it is the best way for individuals and institutional investors to acquire physical gold. They've got the lowest cost structure in the industry. You get personal advising from their precious metals experts, and they have an extremely simple, easy to use web-based user interface and app. It's so simple that it takes less than one minute to sign up for an account. And I know this is true because I use Vaulted myself and it was absolutely so easy to set up an account. Now, the reason why I like to use a service like Vaulted is because number one, it gives you an extremely easy and automated way to build up your gold savings. On their website, they've got something called Vault Plan, which allows you to automatically invest in gold at the lowest cost available every single month or every other week. And then at any point that you desire, you can request physical delivery and they will immediately start the process of shipping you physical gold wherever you want it shipped to. And if you've saved up enough to own an entire bar yourself, you are at that point assigned a serial number. And when you request delivery, you will get that exact serial numbered bar that you had allocated in your legal ownership and your possession. They have one-to-one -one allocation, no pooling, no leasing. Your gold is your gold. Turn gold into an easy to use savings account by signing up for vaulted and start an automated vaulted savings plan in order to start putting your money into gold and whenever you want whenever you get enough gold in there you can request this gold to be physically delivered to your address on demand and all the while you're getting it at the lowest cost in the industry Sign up for Vaulted today with the link in the description below. It's no secret that everybody is concerned about inflation and gold historically for thousands of years has served as a hedge against inflation. Over the long term, it maintains its purchasing power. Obviously, the price of gold performed extremely well before we had inflation from the uh, handling of 2020, and it subsequently sold off in anticipation of the Federal Reserve tightening. But now that all of those fears have been priced in, all of those rate hikes, all that quantitative tightening has been priced in, and now there's the fears of a recession that will cause even more easing, now the price is starting to move back up in anticipation of that, of the future inflation as a result of the future economic bailout. So because of that, people have been buying gold, and they haven't been just trickling in. We've seen the strongest performance in decades, 23 years to be precise. In quarter one, the U.S. Mint sold 426 thousand ounces of gold. In fact, in its latest sales data, the U.S. Mint reported that it sold 155,000 ounces of various denominations of its American Eagle gold bullion coins, which was up 73% from last month. 73% jump in gold sales in just one month. That is a massive spike. And again, it was its best March performance since 1999. And then during the whole quarter, they sold 426,000 ounces of gold, which was up 3.5% from the first quarter of 2021 last year. And again, just like its last month, this last quarter was its best quarter in 23 years as well. Now, just in case you're not aware, there's a big difference between physical gold and paper gold. Typically, when you own paper gold, you legally do not own any gold at all. You can get exposure to gold through a paper, through a futures contract, or from something called unallocated gold. There are dozens, hundreds, maybe even thousands of services out there that offer you a way to buy, buy gold for an extremely cheap price, normally no fees. You pay spot or maybe a little bit above spot, and then they store that gold for you. In reality, what's going on is they have a little bit of gold in storage. 
if everybody wants to get their gold delivered at the same time, what that company has to do is go out into the market and buy gold, physical gold off the open market to deliver it. They don't actually store what they say they what they say that you can collect at any time. Now, this is called what I like to call gold ownership, not gold ownership, because there's no legal ownership of gold on your part from a legal standpoint. There's no physical gold there. You don't legally own gold. You are owed gold. You don't own gold. This is unallocated storage. And that is most of gold ownership out there. Most gold ownership is gold ownership. It's all paper. There's nothing to back it up. And since there are so many of these services out there and so much money is in unallocated gold pools, what this really means is that if push comes to shove, we start to see stuff like this accelerate and everybody starts collecting physical. That means physical starts to dry up and uh, everybody starts to ask for physical delivery, but there's no physical delivery to be found. And so every everybody else who's going and saying, hey, well, I've got to deliver it because I owe it. I need to go out and I can't find it. That'll spike the price up. You might see a little bit of a divorce, a separation between the paper markets and the physical markets. Now, keep in mind, everything that I'm talking about here is uh, the same for silver as it is for gold. So I keep on saying gold. I'm talking about both here. I'm talking about both silver and gold. They operate the same way. There's very, very big differences between the two metals. Gold is much more of a monetary metal. Silver is much more of an industrial metal. But for the most part, they have a lot of the same similarities, a lot of the same characteristics, considering the stuff that we're talking about today. Now, if you want to take a look here, I'm going to show you at Mex show you a way that we can uh, kind of get around some of this stuff that we're talking about. Look at uh, one ounce American gold eagles. This is a random year, $2,059 um, for 2022, 2059 uh, for a gold buffalo, 2059. And so you can get these, you know, that's, that, that's, that's a lot, it, that's a lot above sp uh, spot, but it's not absolutely astronomical considering the price of gold is around 1920 right now. But if we scroll down here and we look at these bars, you can see we can get a discount. We can get $40 uh, below what we, what we can get the same amount of gold if we get an American Eagle. Why is that? Well, it, you're paying for labor, really. Really, that's what it comes down to. How much labor went into producing an energy and electricity and storage and fees and all that went into producing a coin versus a bar? And obviously, for the amount of metal that's in there, you're going to have a lot less labor, energy, cost go into creating a larger bar, like a 10 ounce bar versus a one ounce bar. It's going to be the same for silver. A hundred ounce bar is going to be cheaper in terms of the premium. The extra you have to pay above the cost of just the metal, it's going to be cheaper than if you get something like a, a silver eagle, right? Because it takes more labor per uh, individual ounce. And so number one, that's the first way to kind of get around all of this is right now when premiums are so high, when there's such a big demand, what you do is you buy the stuff with the lowest demand because it's still the same amount of metal. You're still getting an ounce of gold. You're still getting an ounce of silver. So you're still getting the metal. So you get the physical in the cheapest way possible with the lowest premium. And then at some point in the future, premiums will converge. You'll get a more normal premium market instead of having to pay $50, $100 over spot sometimes even more uh, for gold and then for silver, $5, sometimes $10 over spot for silver. Instead of doing that, you buy it in the large bars as much as you can afford. Your premium per ounce will be a lot lower. And then someday in the future, if you want those American Eagles, you can just swap it out and you still have the silver. So even if prices are double for silver or prices are double for gold in the future, when you do this, if premiums converge, you're basically just locking in that price of the metal and you're waiting for the premiums to come down. But you lock in the fact that you already own the metal. So that's one way that you can get around this. Now, the other thing that is important to pay attention to here, I've talked about it a few times, is the war between Russia and Ukraine. Right now, everybody is calling for more and more sanctions on Russia. We're going to get to a point where at some point, they're going to start asking, who is sanctioning who? Are we actually seeing the rest of the world sanction Russia? Or is the rest of the world sanctioning themselves by cutting themselves off from food and energy? Things that they desperately, desperately need, plunging themselves into an energy crisis. So it'll get to the point where Russia will be able to continue selling to the people who are just caving, to the countries that are caving and saying, you know what, even if you demand rubles, 
what even if you demand gold we're going to have to do it and we're going to have to get natural gas from you oil from you and if they don't it's going to go to china they're going to be able to still do business with india so we're not going to see all of these sanctions have all the impact on russia that the rest of the world is hoping they will have in which case if especially if it starts you know helping them and they start uh, getting rubles uh, bidding up the value of the ruble compared to other currencies and this is a big deal if they start to ask for gold, if they price uh, oil in terms of gold, let's say a gram a barrel or two grams a barrel, whatever it is, if they start to price oil in gold, that is a game changer and suddenly you will see the physical markets dry up. We're already seeing the impact of the, the soft peg, the soft link where the where Russia said they will buy gold at 5,000 rubles per gram. Uh, that's right now, I think about 55, maybe $60 US dollars per gram. We're already seeing that impact the price because now you can't have shorts come in and slam that price of gold back down because then there's the arbitrage opportunity where you can come in and you can do the exchange with oil and rubles and it pushes the price right back up. It creates an arbitrage opportunity where free money can come in and uh, push the price of gold back up. So if Russia wants to improve its holdings of gold, all they have to do is link that directly to oil and that will start to push that higher and higher and higher. So we could see this take place who knows if it'll happen but that's something to watch out for because once it happens you're going to see the paper markets break they're going to dry up and only physical will count and if you don't have physical you don't have anything and if you can't hold physical in your hands you can always go with an allocated segregated storage service again i don't recommend it for all of your uh, gold all of your silver but especially to have some out of the country waiting for you on the other side if you need it it's always a great second or third or fourth option as always i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching have a great day